My name is Vivek Reddy, and I'm professor of medicine at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai, and I serve as the director of cardiac electrophysiology for the Mount Sinai Health System. Atrial fibrillation is the most common sustained heart rhythm disorder. And when medications don't work, which oftentimes they don't, then we use a procedure called catheter ablation. Catheter ablation involves the placement of catheters through veins into the heart to identify the location of the problem and then deliver energy to get rid of that location, to cauterize that tissue. The procedure is typically performed in an electrophysiology lab and it uses typically either radiofrequency energy or heat to cauterize the tissue or cryoenergy or cold to freeze the tissue. Now, unlike thermal ablation, whether it's radiofrequency or cryo, which uses changes in temperature to affect tissue, there's a new form of ablation called pulsed field ablation. Pulsed field ablation uses electrical currents for very short durations, for microsecond durations, to, in order to ablate the tissue. Now there's two reasons why this is interesting. One, well, the lesser of the two, is that it's very, very fast. But the more interesting reason is that pulsed field ablation is relatively selective toward ablation of cardiac tissue. So during the ablation, there's less chance of damage to adjacent structures such as the esophagus or important nerves. Unfortunately, with standard thermal ablation, it's tissue indiscriminate, meaning it could affect these other structures. That's why pulse field ablation is so interesting because of its tissue selectivity. So we did some initial clinical trials with this technology in Europe. In over 100 patients who had paroxysmal or intermittent atrial fibrillation, we used this pulse field ablation approach. And what we found were a couple of things. One, it was a highly effective approach. We were able to durably isolate the regions that we wanted to ablate. And number two, the safety considerations that made the concept so promising indeed were true. We saw no evidence of damage to adjacent structures like the esophagus or nerves or other important structures. Pulse field ablation is now coming to the United States in the form of an FDA clinical trial called ADVENT. And we're very proud and excited that Mount Sinai is going to be the lead center in this trial. The trial will take patients who have paroxysmal or intermittent atrial fibrillation who are planned for an ablation procedure because medications have either failed or patients were intolerant to the medications. And it, the trial will randomly assign patients to either standard ablation, which is what is, we currently do in the, in the United States, or this new form of ablation called post field ablation. Patients will be followed in the usual fashion and um, over the course of a year, and ultimately we'll be able to determine whether pulse field ablation truly is safer than standard ablation, or at least as safe as standard ablation, and whether or not pulse field ablation is more effective, or at least as effective, than standard ablation. We expect the pulse field ablation is actually going to be more effective because that's what the European clinical trials indicated. So patients who have intermittent atrial fibrillation in whom the drugs are either not working or the patients are not tolerating the medications, they're the ones who actually qualify to participate in this clinical trial. Well, if you have atrial fibrillation, then you should discuss here with your doctor what would be the appropriate treatment strategy or at least treatment alternatives. And this should be your internal medicine doctor, your cardiologist or whoever it is that's taking care of this problem for you. If, it, if you think or if you're and your doctor believe that ablation is a reasonable alternative, and if you're interested in learning more about pulse field ablation and this technology and this clinical trial, please feel free to contact any of the Mount Sinai doctors to discuss this trial more. I actually do. I think that pulse field ablation, and I think most electrophysiologists believe that pulse field ablation is the future of atrial fibrillation ablation. Because fundamentally, this just makes the procedure easier and quicker. Indeed, 
with pulse field ablation, it's very possible and indeed likely that the majority of our procedures will become more effective, be quite safe, and in fact, be quick enough that we'll be able to discharge patients home on the same day.